Hello everyone, welcome to All Things CS. Today I am just going to do an overview of installing a private repository using SSH and then using those SSH uh, keys with, Git, with the GitLab CI CD. In the past, I have installed repositories using the GitLab package registry. However, this is an alternate way that we can do this. For instance, I'm going to run a script yarn blobby. Now what is this script? While that's running in the background, I'm going to show you. In my scripts here for my project, I have blobby, yarn add, and then it is git plus ssh, and then this bit of text here. You can usually find this bit of text in the sample react inside of Blobby tutorial right here. And if you go clone, you're going to notice that is similar. If we paste this in, yep, it's the same. So that's where that text comes from. What are we doing? So we're doing this via SSH. And so we don't need a token for this, an MPM RC file, as we did in past videos with the package registry. Basically, this works using our credentials that link us to our GitLab account. And so, as we can see, we were able to install that package. This is pretty cool because there are some things we can do with this. Right here, we can see the name main. Any, any branch that we're working on inside of that repository, that, that blobby repository, we can rename it right here and we'll get that branch. That's something in comparison to the GitLab package registry is that you have to have a package pushed to the registry in order for you to consume it. Here you can target basically anything that you'd like as long as it's the branch. Or you can also do tags. So you do like a v2.0 if you create a tag name within that on that repository, you can target certain versions. It's pretty neat. There are some differences though, however, if you're wanting to run this in a pipeline. Okay. And I'm not going to go super in depth into it, and I will link this documentation down below. GitLab does a pretty good job of documenting all of this. So you can see using SSH keys with GitLab CI CD. And so they tell you how it works here. And they tell you the SSH keys using Docker, you know, all that. Um, and they tell you how to generate a key, create the variable, and then you're going to run this as a before script in your pipeline. So what's happening here and why are, the, why are you needing to do it like this? Well, basically, when the pipeline's running, it doesn't, it doesn't have that SSH key, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't have a, a link to your repository. It's, it's a, you know, it, it's its own, it's its own isolated thing. So you need to tell it where it can find that key. You need to create that dot SSH in a sense, like you would have in your root project. As you can see here, dot SSH. And then right here, SSH private key is going to be inside of your CI CD variables. If you expand this, you would place that here. Okay. The next thing is, is okay, cool. We, we ran through the steps of right here where we would generate a key go down, you would copy and paste this one or this one and run it in your terminal. When you do that, I would advise if you want to find the key easily, 
the first prompt that you get, I would go dot slash so that it saves it in your directory, the one your working directory. Okay? And then you're going to get a key file like that or whatever you name it as and then dot pub. And so this is going to be the one public. This is going to be the private key. This key right here, your private key, that's the one that you're going to want to store inside of your CI CD variables. This key on the other hand, you are going to want to go to the repository that you're consuming, go to settings, click on repository, and click on deploy keys and you're going to name your deploy key something and take that key.pub or whatever whatever you name that file as and you're going to paste that in here and you're going to click add key and then it should show it as a key that's enabled it'll say de enabled deploy keys and that title that you chose should be under the enabled deploy keys this should allow you to run it in your pipeline. However, there is one thing. In the GitLab CI YAML, we can see I have additional thing here besides the text that it gives you in the documentation. So this before script is what's given in the documentation and they do go into the key scan a bit so in the documentation we can see if we if we go down here a little bit it's going to verify talking about the SSH host keys okay so we're going to need to do that however there's a caveat here if you're working on your own instance and that's why you may see that I did this here I have all things CS that's basically just acting as if I have my own instance called all things CS, my own instance of GitLab. If you're hosting your own GitLab and you have it on a specific port, you're going to have issues if you don't specify the port name. This is what you need. So SSH keyscan.p for port, and then you just put in your port and then put that, and then, yep. SSH, known hosts. And then one thing here is that if you just simply have yarn install, I noticed that it doesn't work. You have to have yarn add and then your whole whole string here, your whole command. And excuse me, I don't have the main, although it will work without main. I believe it just ta targets the main, the main branch anyways. And then you want to specify your port here as well. Otherwise it will not work. And then that should work in your pipeline. So, just a fun little bonus thing here. What's going on here? How is this working? So this is a template. It's a pretty cool thing that you can do in the GitLab CI YAML. Basically, I am doing a dot there and then naming this. It's just like a stage in a sense. And then I am giving it name there saying the stage, and then I have my before script here. Then I am, in a sense, initializing it here, right there. So you can notice that these two are the same. And if you're familiar with C, you might see some similarity there as well. Why is this useful? Well, you can have multiple stages, a deploy stage to like your staging or your prod, and you don't want to type this to put before script out multiple times. Well, you do it once here in a template, and then you can put it in each of those stages. Pretty cool, huh? Well, I hope that that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And as always, enjoy coding.